Hello people from the future, welcome to Ramalize Nerd. First of all, I would like to thank you for 1000 subscribers. Now, if you are a regular on this channel, then you must be wondering what am I doing in front of the camera? Well, I am home quarantined like the rest of the world, so I thought of doing something new today. And the topic that I am gonna be talking about is very important for those who love to learn from online courses. And the topic is the course loop. Please make sure to watch this video to the end because I'm gonna be first telling you what is course loop and how people get stuck in this course loop and how to get out of it. So let's get started. Let's face it, most of us start studying machine learning and data science from some online course or the other. But people watch one course, then do another one, then another one and soon they realize they have stuck in a weird situation that I like to call as course loop. Let me explain it a bit elaborately. So suppose you are searching for machine learning content on the internet. The very next day you find a bunch of Facebook ads referring to some great websites that offer machine learning courses. So you click on the ad, you visit their website and you find a course that really matches what you are searching. So you get enrolled into that course, you followed every lecture, you implemented every code that the instructor has already written for you, then you finish this course very easily. Then you start to think that, well, I have done the basic course, now let me do some specialization. So you go for say NLP or image processing. So you do that course just like the previous one after finishing this second course you think okay let me learn some libraries like pytorch or tensorflow so you do another course for it with every course you are thinking that you are getting better and better in machine learning and you will crack the next ml interview and you will get a job well congratulations you have got stuck into course loop now i'm gonna explain you why it is so dangerous first of all in every online course the instructors try to make sure that you face no trouble while running their code so they have already done the hard work for you and they are presenting you the end product but real development doesn't work like that you will face thousands of issues regarding version compatibility space complexity time complexity of your code modularity of your code deployment issues and the list goes on to solve this problem, you need to search the Google, you need to search Stack Overflow, you need to go through all the previous reported issues on GitHub, you need to read the documentation. So all these things really cannot be learned from following some online course. You have to learn this thing by yourself. Now my second point is, in most of the online courses, they provide more or less the same projects. For example, the cat dog classification, the restaurant review sentiment analysis and just like that but remember we are not standing in 2015 we are standing in 2020 nowadays interviewers really expect a bit extra hopefully by now you can understand how this course loop can affect your progress in a negative way now let me tell you how you can break that course loop and can improve your skills probably the most important thing that you should do is to implement the concept that you are learning from a course into a new project. Here comes your creativity. Now I am not asking you to come up with a groundbreaking idea. All I am asking you to apply the concept that you are learning from a course in a project that is not done by your instructor. For example, if you are doing a course on CNN, then just take the concept of CNN and apply it on a different data set. And probably you can make a web app. Now the benefits are multidimensional. You will learn how to handle different kinds of data sets. You will learn how web development works. I know that it might take you two to three weeks, but trust me, this experience will definitely gonna pay you off. The second point is try to read research papers, blogs, and books because even Andrew NG cannot cover every single detail of an algorithm in his online courses. So I think the details that are written somewhere in form of research paper or blogs or books can really be beneficial. So please 
read the topic read the algorithm that you have just learned don't just listen and watch the videos of online courses try to go deeper into them now my last point definitely not the list is you should only do the courses that will serve your need in other words you should choose those courses that will help you solve a problem that you are facing in your current project you will notice that even some professionals are taking help of online courses but they are very well aware of the problem they are trying to solve so they can pick the courses very effectively but the beginners often don't have this project or problem idea in the back of their mind so they end up choosing the wrong course which eventually leads them to the course loop so i will highly suggest you to pick a problem that you are genuinely interested to solve with machine learning and try to find the courses that will help you now let me tell one thing very clearly that i am not at all against online courses some of them are genuinely awesome but you should be really careful while choosing them and please 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 implement the concepts that you are learning from the online courses otherwise they are not going to help you anyways now please comment your suggestions and feedbacks in the comment section and do let me know if you have some other points to add to this discussion or if you disagree with some points please share this video subscribe to this channel and stay safe thanks for watching